Good evening and welcome to my 2017 Heartland Trail Runner 325 ODK. Has a front bedroom, rear kitchen, and two slide outs. Uh, nice thing here is you have the uh, other entryway to the bathroom. Uh, that way you don't have to go right through the whole camper every time. This is a four season polar package, heated underbelly and sealed underbelly. Outdoor kitchen, I mean, excuse me, uh, outdoor shower, which is really nice. Upgraded, uh, put a nice Furion um, backup cam here. Uh, that's the Vision S, uh, full size spare. Uh, again, outdoor shower, really nice to have. Kids are at the pool or the beach. You're coming back from the beach. You don't want to track sand and everything in, or you don't want to really shower. You just want to wash some chlorine or sand or mud off your feet when you're camping. You just throw that thing on, which is really nice. Uh, outdoor kitchen is excellent. Got a uh, brand new Blackstone electric skillet back here. Again, brand new. Um, nice little sink here, a ton of cabinets and drawers. Uh, you've got a uh, nice little refrigerator here and a small little freezer for some odds and ends. Um, but it's a great place to come out and cook. Uh, plus you've got the, uh, the, the door with the power pistons that acts as a uh, nice little awning over the kitchen area. Uh, the awning, speaking of which, uh, is a Lippert uh, Solera. And uh, it's got the adjustable pitch, so you can uh, adjust the rain to whatever area you want it to. And as you can see, I had a lot of rain on there right now. It is pouring out. Uh, it's got a nice LED strip, pretty cool at night. You got the outdoor lights, you've got the outdoor speakers. Uh, Load Range E, brand new, uh, couple of trips, Goodyear Endurance. Load Range E, 80 PSI. Heavy sidewall tires, those are legit. Uh, they did not have load range E's on there. I think they were S's. Um, under camper through storage that goes right through the whole side. It goes right through all the way to the other side. You can put your totes, your camper chairs, and your uh, you know RV rugs, and your uh, easy up for when you're camping. You can put that right there. And uh, I upgraded the uh, RV lock here. There we go. I lied. There we go. All right, we're in. Oh, before we go in, 230 pound cylinders in the front, power tongue jack in the front, really nice. A little light in the front, you get loaded up in the uh, evening. I have a nice distribution hitch that comes with this, weight distribution. Uh, it has the, uh, the diamond plate in the front, the aluminum, so that uh, over the road you don't get rocks and stuff dinging your camper up. Uh, two big slide outs as stated, as you can see down here. Um, I've got all my lights set up to be on right now. Gives you that cool little look at the campground at night. Uh, but again, two 30 pound cylinders, brand new interstate battery in there. Uh, let's go into the camper. And wipe my feet, I have a dirt driveway. Uh, ton of room in this thing, absolutely ton. So we have uh, above bed storage. Uh, this is a um, Montana hybrid mattress. It's a queen short. Uh, if you know anything about campers, uh, the OEM ones they throw in there are just terrible. Absolutely terrible, you can't sleep on those. Um, this was a 600, uh, $698, $700 mattress. Nice TV, adjustable, um, 32 inch. A uh, lot of storage up here. Under the bed is uh, is all storage as well. 
I mean, they load this thing up with storage. Some nice, uh, nice features here. Uh, again, I upgraded the TV. Uh, the sound system ties into the whole unit. Um, you have interior speakers, exterior speakers. You can choose where they're going for zones. Uh, Bluetooth, USB, DVD. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, you have this nice privacy doors on this. Uh, you can close both of the doors, give you a little privacy in the front bedroom. Uh, this is a jackknife sofa. Uh, it turns into a twin bed. Uh, really nice. That comes standard uh, with the unit. And, uh, and there you go. Um, nice blinds. Uh, cordless. Uh, this dinette, it's really cool. Uh, you can drop it down and turn it into another twin bed. See those two cabinet doors right there? That's more storage. Under all of the seats, all three of the seats, if you lift the cushions, um, you can lift all of these and load it up with more stuff, which is cool. A uh, ton of windows, ton of storage. Uh, your pantry area right here, your power distribution box. Pretty light fixture. Um, other thing is like the cabinets, the glass ones are lit up by LEDs, which is pretty good. It's the kitchen area. A lot of cabinets, a lot of drawers. Uh, plenty of room. You've got the uh, nice microwave. Very nice. Three burner uh, stove. This is propane, nice oven. Uh, it's only been used a few times, you know, for all pizzas and stuff. Nice uh, dual fridge by Dometic. It's uh, both propane and uh, and uh, electric. So uh, when you're going over the road, uh, you can keep everything cold uh, by being on propane. It sips propane, very doesn't use much. You can keep it on for a month on propane uh, with, the, with the tanks thermostat now this back room here is your uh is your bunkhouse got a nice nest uh co and smoke detector there's other smoke detectors in here speakers uh air conditioning system it is ducted which is really nice uh so you have ducts going through the unit the heat is ducted as well so every room has uh floor ducts and then for the ac you have ceiling ducts the nice thing about this back bunkhouse is the privacy all right, it's huge. A lot of room back here for uh, four people. So you've got a convertible jackknife sofa that did not come stock. What came stock with it was a cheap foam, like college dorm type chair uh, couch that turned into a bed. It was awful, absolutely awful. Uh, so I upgraded that to a brand new jackknife sofa. That's a twin bed. Let's open that guy up right there. Boom, you've got a twin, very comfortable. Uh, and uh, it's very functional because on the other side of that, you have the TV and the entertainment system. Uh, up here, you have another bunk. It stores, uh, it stores away, so when you're watching TV, you wouldn't hit your head or anything. Uh, upgraded the uh, bunk mattress up top here. Uh, I just bought that on Amazon like uh, whew, maybe three weeks ago. I think I paid 200 bucks for it. Organic cotton, four inches, really nice, really comfortable. Uh, just just really nice. These teddy bear bunk mattresses, hardly been slept on uh, a couple times by my kids, but uh, they're just not uh, thick. Uh, they're just, they're like two and a half inches. Fine for little children, but like adults and, and teenagers, no way. You got a little stowaway uh, ladder for the top bunk. Uh, nice little window up there. Again, very, a uh, lot of light, a lot of room. Um, just really nice. This is all storage under this here as well. Um, you lift that up, that's all storage. So you can load this thing up with all your gear. You kind of put things in totes and uh, you just leave it in there and it's, it's all good. This is the bathroom right here. I, mean, uh, I know the video is wicked shaky, I apologize. Kind of walking around a camper here, but uh, it's a good sized bathroom for a camper. And again, you have that easy access door. Serves as two features. One, you can just use the bathroom and not cut through the camper and then the kids or the people using the bunkhouse can just enter through the bathroom and they're in their own private little area. 
Uh, real porcelain toilet, which is really nice. A lot of storage in here, medicine cabinet under sink. Uh, the um, It's a whole one piece here for the shower. It's really nice. Upgraded the shower head to an Oxygenetics, I believe it is, or Oxygenics. Um, I don't know, it's like 50 bucks, but uh, it really works well. It's multi-pattern. Uh, and it really gives you some nice pressure. It's got a skylight up there, which is um, nice in the daytime. Uh, bathroom vent fan on the skylight above the uh, bathroom as well. There's another one in the uh, in the bunkhouse as well for air movement uh, when you're not using AC, just to kind of cause a natural draft in here. It is a very large 32 foot camper for a travel trailer. This thing is huge, it's loaded with amenities. It's very nice. Uh, only reason I'm getting rid of it, quite honestly, is I uh, I just got a uh, fifth wheel and uh, I really don't have a use for it anymore. I was thinking of keeping it, maybe, uh, you know, setting up two sites, but uh, I'd rather just uh, get it off to another family that could use it. I think uh, somebody will really enjoy this. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you have any more questions, hit me up. Uh, did a lot of extras, uh, a lot of upgrades in this camper. Thanks.